guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today, several weeks ago, I made a little YouTube short where I showed how I applied my wig cap and my wig grip. This is a process I use before I put on my wig every time. Now, I have had so many questions about that short and they wanna know more details. So I thought I'm just gonna make a short video going into a little more detail of how I do this, why I do this, and just giving you some more information about it. Okay, first of all, disclaimer. I'm not saying you should do it this way. I'm not saying anyone should do it this way. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. This is my process. I like to do this when I put on my wigs. And so this is just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. And I just like to show you how I do it and why I do it this way. Now, as you can see, I have super short hair and I love it. And yes, I wear it out just like this many, many times. I don't always wear a wig. There are times I just go out with my short hair on. And that's what I love about this whole wig journey. I don't have to wear a wig every day if I don't want to, but if I do, I wear a wig. So it's just my choice every day, and I love having choices. Now, you know, when I wear my wigs, I wear a different color and a different style every day. To work, I always wear a wig, and I will have a different color and a different style on every day. You know that, I've talked about it many times, and I love this wig journey. I love the freedom wigs provide me to have a different look, to match my outfit. It's the best of both worlds. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm gonna use and what I do use. I, first of all, and I will link everything below this video so you will see where to get it and what uh, details about it. I use it stays. This is a water-based adhesive. I have always used it. No, it doesn't pull my hair when I take it off, when I take off my wig cap. No, it does not pull out my bio hair. I'm trying to answer some of the questions that I have gotten on my short for you. So no, it does not pull out my bio hair. This is an adhesive. It is a water-based adhesive. After I take off my wig cap and my, um, we group at the end of the day, I jump in the shower and I wash my hair and it washes right out. So that's what I use there. Now my wig grips, I like a wig grip that is elastic in the back. The reason being the ones that are Velcro slip right off of my hair. I have really fine thin hair as you can see and the ones with Velcro just slip right off of my head. I cannot wear them. So I need the kind that have elastic in the back. These are available at wigstudio1.com. I will link it again below this video so you'll be able to see that. They also have the ones that have the lace. Really nice. Again, elastic back, but this one has the lace. So if you like that, great. I, I like them both. Um, but I tend to honestly wear the plain one most of the time. Just my preference, again. Uh, I You can wear the one with the lace when you have a mono top, so you don't get any marks there, any demarcation marks where the uh, wig grip might have a seam or anything you have this lace here. I don't find that it really matters that much to me. No one gets that close up to my head to see that. So I just prefer this one. It's the one, like I said, I wear the majority of the time and I love it. It is great. Now, as far as a wig cap, I like the open-ended wig caps. You can get them everywhere, Amazon, anywhere like that. You can pick up these just open-ended wig caps. That's what I like. Now, people ask me, isn't all that hot? <laughs> Not at all. For me, I don't find this hot at all. I guess I'm so used to wearing it that it's like second nature to me. I feel like I have to have this on. It's just my way. Now, you could just wear a wig grip and that's all. Most people do that and it works perfectly fine. Just with the wig grip, you don't have to have a wig cap too. It's just how I like to wear it. But you could just wear a wig grip and, and do just as well. Now, the reason I do this is for a couple reasons. Mainly, like I said, I feel like it's so secure. My wig is not going anywhere. I can promise you that. I can wear this all day. It does not give me a headache. I don't feel like it's too tight. 
It is not hot. It is just security for my wig. That is all this is for me. Now, um, again, I just want to make sure you understand about the it stays. Now, you could just put a little bit right on the front and maybe a little at the nape. Probably would work fine. I put it all the way around the perimeter because that's just how I do. Uh, I also, yeah, I want you to just make sure you get another look at this. Now, again, my hair's super short. I like to wear this because it gets under the bottom of my bio hair and none of my bio hair is out. A lot of times I'll put on a very short pixie. If you've watched my channel, you know I've reviewed lots of short, short pixies with super short napes. Uh, I like those, they're great. And if I wear, when I have this on, I know that none of my bio hair is gonna show or come out under the nape, even though my hair is really short. Now, if you have a little longer hair, this works great too. You could pin your hair up, use a wig cap, and you would not have to worry about any hair falling down and coming outside your wig. Again, just my way. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. First of all, I just slip my wig cap on just like this, open my X stays. And like I said, I just run some, I pull my sideburns back. Just again, a lot of people leave theirs out. You certainly can. I just like to pull mine back and this will keep them back behind my ears, just like that. I run it around and then I'm going to run it all around the nape, just like that. It's sim that simple. And then I'm going to pull my wig cap up. Normally I wouldn't have earrings on, but I do. And I'm gonna get up here so I can see. And you see how easy that is. I pull it all the way up, make sure it's smooth in the back. And you see my hair is all contained right underneath there. I pull it back just a little, just like this. Now, good to go there. Then I get my wig grip and I put it on right on top of it. As you can see, you can still see my bio hair. I'm pulling it back because I'm gonna have a lace front. And then I just tuck mine in to the back of it just to have it smooth. You don't have to do that, but I have a smooth look there and I am ready to go. It is not hot, it is not heavy, it is not tight. I cannot even tell I have it on. I'm just so used to wearing it. So like I said, it's just second nature to me, but I can wear this wig and it is not going anywhere. This, okay, I'm gonna put on Raquel Welch, Untold Story in Fiery Copper. I will link it down below. So I just slip this on you can see, make sure you get it straight. Now this wig grip and my cap and grip does not affect how the lace lies. You can see it's perfectly flat and you are ready to go. And I can promise you, your wig is not going anywhere. Like I said, I can wear this all day. Doesn't bother me at all. I think it's a great way for me to always feel secure and my wig is in place. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me lots of comments and I'll see you next time.